Hello friends, welcome to our channel Plex Free Content. So in today's video, I am going to tell you about how to create a table of content inside MS Word. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now I am having a document which is divided into several headings and subheadings which is of 8 page long. Now for this short document it is very easy to create the table of content manually. But what if we have more than 100 pages document or the 200 pages. So it is very much helpful to create automatically table of content in the MS Word. And apart from that automatic table of content has some uh, more advantages like if we have add or subtract any content from the uh, document or we have add any heading or delete some heading then to update the table of content we don't need to edit it manually by just one click we can update the entire table of content along with the page number so let me show you how to create a table of content so to create it firstly we need to organize our headings into a particular format so inside the home tab uh, there is a style section so from here we can update the table of content style so generally uh, we prefer heading 1 for the main heading and heading 2 or heading 3 for the uh, subheadings and the sub subheadings or you can choose any other uh, kind of headings but generally we prefer heading 1 heading 2 and so on so abstract is the main heading so that's why I am choosing heading 1 for it. Now its font is Calibri light we can uh, convert it into the any font or any size let's say I have converted it into the times new uh, roman. Now for the introduction this is also a main, he main heading for all the main headings we will choose heading 1 and for all the subheadings we will choose heading 2 and for all the sub subheadings we will choose the heading 3. So just wait for a minute while I convert all the headings into the proper format. Now as you can see I have converted all the headings and subheadings into the particular format. For all the main headings I have given heading 1 and for all the subheadings I have given the heading 2 and for all the uh, sub subheadings I have uh, chosen the heading 3. Now we always add the table of content section at the first page. So what we will do we will go here at the first page and we will uh, add a new page from the insert tab. So now we have uh, insert a new blank page. So to add a table of content, we will go inside the references section. Here a table of contents heading is present. We will uh, click on it and we can choose any of the table of content type. Automatic table 1, table 2 and the manual table. But the most preferable uh, table is automatic table 1 or automatic table 2. In both these kind of table, there is just a minor difference that is the heading here is the contents and the, in the automatic table 2, uh, the heading is table of contents. So I have chosen the automatic table 1. So now you can see the entire table of content is created for this document. Now let's suppose I have uh, shifted the chapter 1 introduction into the next page. Now uh, the introduction uh, is on the page number 2. Now I have shifted the introduction into the next page. So let's update the table of contents. So for this we will uh, go here uh, and click on update table and click on then update entire table. Now the page number of the introduction chapter is become 3. Like this we can add any heading or uh, delete any uh, heading from the document and we just need to go here at the content, click on it and then we can uh, update the entire table like this. So this is all about today. If you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching.